everybody, my name is David. I'm a Coke Plate Frontier from the Genesis Group. Today I'm going to give you a quick market update. And tomorrow is a make or break for Bitcoin. That's how I look at it right now. Now if we look at Bitcoin, it's actually looking strong. It looks very strong. Um, it's at $60,769. It's doing good. As long as Bitcoin can hold at least here, this line right here. Oh no, no, not that line. About here. 57000 Five hundred sixty-seven dollars, sixty or five, fifty-seven thousand six hundred forty-eight dollars. If you can hold that line, I think Bitcoin is in the good. All right. Um, yeah. Now, the reason why I say tomorrow is a make or break for Bitcoin is because of this right here. Bitcoin top sixty thousand dollars for first time in six months as traders bet on ETF approval. Okay, so the Security and Exchange Commission is set to allow the first U.S. Bitcoin futures exchange traded funds to start trading next week. A landmark victory for cryptocurrency industry that has long sought um, permissions from Wall Street's top regulator, according to a person familiar with the matter. So. This is all what they're betting on. If the SEC, okay, SEC is the Securities and Exchange Commissions. If the SEC rejects it, I expect Bitcoin to just, man, it's going to go down. Like you might, I don't know, 60,000, like 50,000, <laughs> might drop 10,000 quick, all right? Uh, maybe in weeks, it'll, it'll be down to 48 thousand who knows even more uh you know in, in a matter of weeks and so that's what everyone's betting on that is why people uh big institutions have been selling their altcoins to get into bitcoin why am i saying that so you can see bitcoin is all you know it almost hit its all-time highs it's you know it's, it's there Look at Ethereum's all-time high. And when Bitcoin's almost near its all-time high, Ethereum didn't get close to its all-time high. BNB, not even close. Okay, so you look at these other altcoins, man, not even close. TRX, not even close, right? The main one here is you're looking at Ethereum. Ethereum is, you know... If Bitcoin is gold, you might as well call Ethereum silver. And right now you, you see that even Ethereum trails Bitcoin in price when it comes to how close you got to its all-time high. Now, why are they doing that? Because they're selling their old coins to buy Bitcoin. Because you're looking at it from one of two ways. Here, if they disprove of a Bitcoin ETF and Bitcoin drops, who knows, you know, like 10, 15%, who knows, right? Um, the old coins are gonna go down even more. You know, Bitcoin drops like 10%, whatever, 7%, old coins are going like 15, 20%. And so Bitcoin's just a better hedge, all right? On top of that, if it does get approved, well, then so many people are going to buy Bitcoin that obviously Bitcoin will move up faster than the altcoins. And so that's what everyone's waiting on. Will Bitcoin get approved or will it not get approved? And so the next big question is, what is an ETF? ETF is called an, is short for exchange traded fund. So an exchange traded fund ETF is a type of security that tracks an index sector commodity or other asset, but which can be purchased or sold on a stock exchange the same way a regular stock can. So you can buy Bitcoin on exchange, a Bitcoin ETF, like a regular stock, which means a lot more people can buy it. They're no longer stuck to crypto exchanges. But now you could buy Bitcoin ETFs on stock exchanges. 
An ETF can be constructed to track anything from the price of an individual commodity to a large and diverse collection of securities. ETFs, individual commodity, right? Like Bitcoin is just individual. Uh, ETFs can even be I mean, be structured to track specific investment strategies. Now, a well-known example is the SPDR, S&P 500 ETF, which is SPY. Uh, which tracks the S&P 500 index. Is it going up or down? ETFs can, can contain many types of investments. In this case, it will be Bitcoin, including stocks, commodities, bonds, or a mixture of investment types. An exchange-traded fund is a marketable security, meaning it has an associated price that allows it to be easily bought and sold. Which, you know, yeah, you can say that about Bitcoin. So here are the key takeaways. An exchange-traded fund is a basket of securities that trade on an exchange just like a stock. But in this case, uh, this basket of securities, Bitcoin. ETF share prices fluctuate all day as the ETF is bought and sold. This is different from mutual funds that is traded once a day after the market closes. So Bitcoin will be able to be traded all day, bought and sold on, a, on the stock exchange or stock exchanges. ETF can contain all types of investment, including stocks, commodities or bonds. Some offer U.S. only holdings, which I think the SEC will do until other ones do it. That's if it gets passed tomorrow. While others are international. ETFs offer low expense ratios and fewer broker commissions than buying the stock and buying the stocks individually does. Okay. An ETF is called an exchange traded fund because it's traded on an exchange just like stocks are. And the price of ETF shares will change throughout the trading day as the shares are bought and sold on the market. Okay, so that is the difference between, you know, an ETF and mutual funds, but also that is what an ETF is. And that is why Bitcoin went up so much to 62,000, a little over 62,000, because everyone is expecting the ETF to be approved on Monday. So, if... Bitcoin is the, the Bitcoin ETF is approved. Oh, yeah. Maybe hundred some thousand within this year. And that's not a whole lot of time left. If it gets rejected tomorrow. Oh, that's an ugly sight. I mean, we might we might see this again right here. These two red huge bars. Oh, yeah. So we got to see tomorrow is a make or break for Bitcoin. But I tell you what is not a make or break. Rather, Bitcoin ETF gets approved, or the Bitcoin ETF gets approved or not. And that's CoCoin. See how CoCoin just keeps going up, 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 up. Don't worry about this little recent step here. Because we have steps like that. Like this one goes all the way down and back up. This one up, go back down. Look at this one here. This very first one, it goes up $2.12 and boom, back down to $1.95. And that's all this is. This is no big deal. Okay? How do I know? Just look at the chart. The chart just keeps telling you this is nothing. This is no big deal. We've seen it before. We've seen it even here. This one. You know, we have seen other way. If we if we make the the um, this display bigger, shorter time frames, we'll see that we have seen it. We've seen it here in the very beginning. Well, not the very beginning, but we even seen it there. You know, we've seen it here. So even when Bitcoin goes down with this funny, you know, it's, it, it's just up and down. Um. Well. Okay. 
you know, I mean, you see Bitcoin go all the way up here and then go back down. Well, what happened to KoCoin when Bitcoin went down like that? Nothing. It just kept going up. What does that tell me? Even if the Bitcoin ETF gets rejected, KoCoin is going to be fine. Because we see that KoCoin prices is not really all that correlated to Bitcoin price. All right. So if Bitcoin ETF does get approved, KoCoin still benefits. Because even when Bitcoin goes up, KoCoin does go up. You know, normally Bitcoin moves first. And when Bitcoin goes down, KoCoin still, you know, continues to stay steady and move up anyways. So yeah, tomorrow is a make or break for Bitcoin. But for KoCoin, we are in the good. It's in the charts. That's what I see. I'm just telling you what I see. Remember, I'm not your financial advisor. I'm not telling you what you do. But I am telling you what I'm doing. And I'm explaining to you why I'm doing the things I do. All right. That being said, I'm not going to lie. I sold most. I never sell Coke coins. I might buy more, but I never sell them. That's what some of these other old coins. Oh, yeah, I sold all mm -hmm. because I rather wait and see what will happen tomorrow. Even if I lose coins or whatever, it's no problem. Just jump right in. Even if you lose some percentages. Better that than lose a lot on the way down by holding. But now with Coke coins, I don't even have to worry. But that's just me. I'm not telling you what to do. I'm giving you my opinion. And I showed you why. Now, everyone, if you're new to the channel, please hit the like. Okay? Uh, and subscribe and share this if you want. Also, if you're new to Coke Play, just... Um, Type in KOK -K, space P L A Y in you know Play Store, download it, and then you'll need a recommendation code. Use my Q A A B I R W L Q A A B I R W L. All right, everyone, everyone out there, please, all of you guys, stay safe. All right, you know maybe you might want to stock up some on some food, maybe buy some Christmas presents ahead of time, because there there are supply shortages. All right, and um. Work, work hard, and everyone, God bless y'all. Coke on.